Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.15 has been released. Here is 19w40a. This is a snapshot mainly focused on bug fixing, especially fixes with bugs in the rendering system for weird visual glitches in the previous snapshot. But it also has some gameplay and performance fixes. My name is Slice Slime, let me guide you through all the changes in Minecraft 19w40a. Let's start with those gameplay changes. Paris can now sit on a player's shoulder, even if the player rides another entity. So even if you get in a boat or onto a horse, your parrots will now stay on your shoulders. Wandering traders could spawn inside of very small spaces, such as automated farms, that has been fixed in this version. And another fix to spawning, mobs wouldn't spawn on jack-o'-lanterns or redstone lamps, that has also been fixed. And speaking of spawning, if you right-clicked an adult mule with a spawn egg, then you wouldn't spawn a baby mule, that is also fixed. A number of fixes for bees and bee nests. If you blew up a bee nest or beehive, then the bees inside would simply vanish. Bees would also not leave a nest or hive even when it was destroyed by flames. And when a nest was burning, bees would happily still enter that nest. Final fix for bees, baby bees would suffocate if they flew up against a solid block ceiling. Let's get on to all of those visual bug fixes, fixes for the rendering changes in the previous snapshot. There are quite a lot of these, so let's go quickfire style through them. Blocks and entities are no longer transparent when looking at them from certain angles. Block animations are no longer too fast if you reload your textures a bunch of times. The end portal and end gateways now render in the correct location. Mip map levels are now correct, which means leaves no longer flicker. The glowing effect has had a bunch of fixes to it, most notably that the blocks below the highlit entity are no longer glowing. Hitboxes no longer render behind portals, water and shulker boxes. And the hitbox of transparent blocks such as slime blocks, stained glass or ice now appear in the right location. Signs no longer glow in the dark. If you are inside the block, that block now renders again. When you are in a boat, now you have legs again. The breaking animation for blocks is no longer stuck to your camera. And models of turtles, baby polar bears and baby pandas have all been fixed. The programmer art resource pack has been updated, so chests, ender chests, banners and enchanted items will now look correct in that texture pack. And speaking of that, let's get into some technical details about resource packs. As you have noticed, the resource pack have changed, and especially for chests, this means that people will likely need to update their packs. I've put together a little bit of an instruction for how to do this manually with an image editor. I'll put that on screen and also in the video description so you can follow along with those instructions. It's a bunch of steps, but it's not particularly difficult. Let's round off with stability and performance fixes. There are a couple of crash fixes in this version and a very significant fix for a server-side performance problem that was caused by patrolling mobs pathfinding. Now there are very certainly more bugs left inside of the snapshot, so if you try the snapshot, do so carefully and only play it on a backup of your world or on a separate test world. If you upgrade to a snapshot, you can never downgrade your world to the latest released version again, so be warned. If you do want to try this but you don't know how to, then click on the link on the video right now. It'll take you to a tutorial video about how to get and play the latest snapshot version. And that was all for me for this time. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please help me out in return, leave a like and share it with your friends. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Minecraft news, then please subscribe to my channel, where I do update videos for every new snapshot, pre-release or release of Minecraft. My name is Slice Slime. thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.